The God Brand, Let It Happen One of the oldest and most effective counterintelligence ploys to prove the commission of a crime is the sting. A plant, or spy, is surreptitiously inserted into the criminal enterprise, who then follows and reports the plans to commit crimes to authorities, who then are able to time the arrests exactly when the criminals are in the process of committing the crimes, swooping in and busting everyone involved. Sometimes smaller crimes are allowed to happen and are even assisted by the spy, recording the evidence and helping to prepare for the much larger crime. It's allowing the wheels of karma to do the heavy lifting as the criminals gleefully flaunt the law and revel in their ill-gotten gains until the righteous power of karma shuts down the party. I lay this out as an analogy to the human condition, where we all have a choice to be who and what we were created to be, or to resist that inborn reality, our mold really, by choosing to go against what is our basic natural goodness. Why do we make that choice? I think it's the classic, I wonder what would happen if, syndrome, where we simply say no to what comes naturally to see what happens. Unfortunately, once this is done, it opens a can of worms not easily closed. By not acting out of who we were created to be, we set up a false state of being, vulnerable to existential destruction. If this false state of being has persisted in long enough, we are in danger of forgetting the choice we made to create it. Because we were created by the Creator Source God, all choices, goals, rewards, and scenarios were built in to that creation. Our very being is our destiny, the inevitable unfolding of a beautiful, created, and designed expression of the Creator Source God. But when we choose to experiment with going against this God brand, we begin seeing our destiny as our fate the inescapable mortal result of denying who we were created to be. The further danger in resisting who we were created to be is that there is the illusion of power and control that comes along with that resistance. We start to believe that the resistance to what we were created to be is power. The power of the fake self we created by eschewing our true being. This feels like freedom, but goes against the fabric of creation that we were originally created to be a part of. Each being brought into existence has an integral part to play in the expression of the grand plan of Creator Source God, and when that part is denied, there are repercussions across the entire creation, a disturbance in the force, if you will. In the history of the multiverse, the law of attraction magnetized all beings together who were rebels against the divine plan, allowing them to interact with each other, dramatize their lusts for power, commit the seven deadly sins, and violate the various commandments built into the DNA blueprint originally meant for the beautifully exquisite unfoldment of the plan. It was only a matter of time before the wheel of karma came calling to crush the distortion of that fake power of a fake self. That time has now arrived. The darkness of corrupt power is being revealed in the biggest sting operation in the history of the multiverse. The perpetrators must now make the choice to embrace their origins of Creator Source God or be reabsorbed by it. Most of incarnated humanity has been the spies in the Great Purge, but we too must re-embrace our God Source and allow the purge within ourselves to happen. Some of us, who have been spies for a long time, have developed habits to fit in with the darkest of evil, complying with denial, hiding in complacency, or outright helping Team Dark with their ill-conceived rebellions. We must demonstrate to ourselves and to our Creator that we can still be who we were created to be by firmly anchoring divine light into our lives and letting that light transform any traces of darkness within us. Here's a meditation to help with that. 1. Drop down into the heart center. 2. Find the lighted stillness there. 3. Tune in to the great column of clockwise turning light, like a screw-top lid, being beamed everywhere now. 
See this light squeezing and clearing out all the dark spaces within. Rest in supreme gratitude that you have been reauthorized as a bearer of divine light in your life. When we can reestablish our God brand as who we are being, we reinsert ourselves into the divine plan and can once again be, do, and have the great loving rewards naturally endowed to us at our inception. We once again begin to carry out our part in creation, also known to us as inspiration, secure in the loving knowledge that we are Creator Source God in action on this beautifully restored conscious planet. The darkness has been canceled. The light has returned. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.